Hello YouTube world and welcome to another episode of Focus Knob. So the other day I was shopping at Goodwill and I found this telescope, this Orion Star Blast for $30. This is the Star Blast 4.5 EQ F4 focal length of 450 millimeters and mirror diameter of 113 millimeters. It did not come with the eyepieces or the finder scope, but for $30, I thought it was a bargain. And it, it looked like it was barely used. Not a scratch on the, on the telescope itself. This one comes with a computerized tracking mount as opposed to the manual mount which you normally see and I don't even think they they make this mount anymore or sell them I was really excited to see that this came with the auto tracker which will aid in keeping the target in view for a longer period of time without constantly adjusting or repositioning the telescope let's say I was looking at Jupiter with this auto tracker, I'll be able to look at Jupiter and keep it in the viewport for let's say 20 minutes as opposed to with a manual telescope where Jupiter will traverse through the viewport within a minute let's say. So it comes in very handy. So here I've adjusted the clutches, locked them in. And there she goes. Very cool. The auto tracker uses eight AA batteries as a power source, or it could also use a 12 volt DC external power source. A cool feature of the auto tracker is that you can program it, you can set it to go to a specific target and then go to another target and then have it come back to the original target. You can also attach a camera and do panning shots. It has a port where you can plug in a cable to the camera and then it will take a picture once it reaches its target. I'm not sure whether this originally came with the go-to controller, but it has the port for it. This is my SV Boney eyepiece. It's a 20 millimeter, 68 degree, wide angle eyepiece This is a SV Boney smartphone adapter to attach the phone to the telescope for taking pictures or videos. It's made mostly of aluminum and secures the phone pretty good as long as you tighten the screws properly. And that's my bargain basement astrophotography setup. Here's a nice panning shot. Notice on the background is the US-Mexican border wall. It's about 15 to 20 miles away. So this is about 22x magnification. 
No, that's 45x magnification. And here's a nice shot of the moon. The craters are very prominent. I swapped out the eyepiece for a 7mm and in combination with the 2x mag on the camera, this is a total of 128x magnification. Notice how the auto tracker is doing a nice job in keeping the moon on center. You can just notice the image shifting back every second or so. Without the auto tracker, you could easily see the moon move across the screen. Here's Jupiter at 257x with the added 2x Barlow. Once again, the auto tracker is doing a nice job in keeping it on center. Here I just applied a 10x digital zoom just to get a close-up. We've lost some sharpness, but it's not too bad. And you could just detect uh, the great red spot. And the band in the middle looks sort of yellowish color. The shakiness is from me bumping the telescope. Here's a snapshot of the Pleiades star cluster. Unfortunately, my camera is not good enough to capture any nebulosity. Here's a snapshot of Mars at 257x. You could just make out slight shadow features on the surface. Maybe on a better night with clearer skies, there would be more details on the surface. But this is good for a first shot. And lastly, here's a snapshot of a very popular target in the night sky, this is the Orion Nebula. You can also easily see this with a pair of binoculars. I was really surprised the camera was able to capture color even for a first timer. This shot was a 10 second exposure at ISO 800 with the aperture at f1.5. And unfortunately the image is blurry since it's a long exposure. So the auto tracker tried its best to keep it on center. I think a two second exposure is really pushing it already. So there you have it. I'm really glad I found this telescope and it's my first one. It has proven its worth, especially at $30. The auto tracker really does help even if it's a entry level tracker. It's nice and compact and doesn't take much time to set up. This is a nice grab and go telescope, definitely. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know. And if you don't like it, leave a comment down below. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel for more future projects. All right, until next time, see ya.